And now I want to spend about 10 minutes or so justifying why we define it this way and um, how this is a conserved quantity. That in many interactions you will see that this quantity will be conserved. And I want to draw a distinction from how we cover the energy. With the energy, we, I didn't give one definition of energy. I simply said we want to define energy however we can so that it's a conserved quantity. That's how we arrived at all of this. I didn't define kinetic energy. I just wanted to make sure as I did the work, the energy of the whole thing was conserved. So that's how I arrived at this. With the momentum, we actually go the other way. We are going to, this is our definition of momentum. And um, you will see that from the laws of physics that you already know, that this has to be a quantity that's conserved under a very specific but general set of circumstances. So uh, let me give you an example of momentum conservation. Um, so I have these two cards. Um, let's see. Let me make them collide this way. So what I'm showing not right now is what's going to be called the elastic collision later today. So uh, right now, they both have zero momentum, right? And if I make this cart move at some speed, then it has some amount of momentum, right? And if I make this cart move at some speed, it has some amount of momentum, right? Now, watch this. I'm going to push this cart to collide with this cart, which, is, which has zero velocity. Yeah, zero velocity. All right, would you say momentum is conserved in this collision? Yeah, so this comes in with some amount of momentum. It hits it, and then it continues. Um, so this cart's momentum has changed because after the collision, this stops, but the other cart is moving. So when you took look at the entire system of the carts, then the total momentum of the two carts is conserved. So you can see that here. The other two examples, it's a little bit harder to see. So when you look at, look at this collision right now, they are going to stick together this time. So when they stick together, would you say that the momentum is conserved? Yeah, so it may be a little bit harder to see. Before, you saw that speed didn't change, right? Here, when they collide, speed does change. How much would you say speed changed by? Like a factor of two, right? So if the speed decreases by a factor of two, but mass increased by a factor of two, then the momentum would still be conserved. Let me give you one last example before we actually go into you know, equations that tell you exactly how this happens. Um, okay, so this time these two cards are going to collide, but one of them will be three times as heavy as the other one. Any guesses how they would, after they interact, how they would move? So call, let me call this A, call this B. Um, so I can, I imagine B would bounce um, back, right? That doesn't, how would, do you think A would move? One, one third what? Uh, one, third of its speed. one third of its initial speed? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, 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 in which direction? Moving to the right or left? Uh, left. To the left? Okay, okay, let's look at this. After they collide, so this starts coming into the right, how many people think this will continue moving on to the right? How many will think it will bounce back to the left? All right, let's see. So I'm going to let it come in with some speed. It continues moving to the right. So now this interaction gets complicated enough that if I ask you, is momentum conserved? I don't know. Unless I measure all the speeds very carefully, it's gonna be hard to see. Uh, let me do, oh sorry, one last example. So this is the one that um, what Arjun was saying could happen. So when this cart B is heavier, when they collide, A actually bounces back. So all these results, we can drive it, but um, we are able to drive it, but we are going to have to drive it from, okay, these carts are not equally magnet. Um, so, but, um, so, to be able to drive motion of uh, this cart, like in this case, um, that's why we are introducing these um, quantities that we are introducing.